Hello, dear. It's it's your mother. It um, seems like we never hear from you anymore. Well, don't worry. Your father and I are fine. And, and honey, when you get tired of living in that damp, chilly house, your room at home is still waiting for you. Oh, and oh, uh, make sure you're taking your vitamins and using that nice umbrella Aunt Selma gave you last Christmas. Okay? I love you. Mmm. Bye. Hello. Remember me? Your editor? You're not answering your calls, are you? I'm getting tired of talking to a machine. I thought you'd be home writing, but apparently you're not. You know, I can't send out that advance until I actually see some of that story you're working on. Call me back. This is Jeremiah Creek. Something has happened. Something horrible. I have to leave immediately. I don't know how long I'll be gone. A Amanda is here at the lighthouse. I don't want to leave her alone. Please come right away. If you don't hear from me soon, it will mean that I have failed. And then... Oh, God, I just can't think of that now. There is no time. I have no choice. Please. You're the only one who can help me. Come now.
July 1st, 4 p.m. I have just returned from the other side. As on the previous test run, the portal stayed open for almost an hour, convincing me that my most recent modifications to the power modulation tube were successful. On this last trip, I extended my explorations, following the path until I came to a tall building some distance down the rocky coast. Approaching the tower, I was surprised to hear a voice call to me from a high window. I looked up to see a man waving excitedly. To my surprise, I could understand his speech. He invited me to come up at once. May 11, 3 p.m. Today, I opened the gate and was about to begin modifications when a figure suddenly appeared on the other side. It was bipedal and roughly shaped and sized like a man, though impossibly thin with long limbs. I was startled and prepared to shut down the device, but the creature made no move toward me, just peered curiously, first at the portal and then at myself. Its eyes were small and intelligent, almost mischievous, but there was no malice in them. We stared at each other for as long as a minute. Then it turned and loped out of my view. This visitation confirms a growing suspicion that I have discovered some kind of parallel universe for the creatures of a species not to be found upon this earth.